Hey guys, this is Sivil Bro, Mainak, and welcome to this video. Today, uh, we will see what are the kinds of reports we can generate in the Tecla Structural Designer software. So, this is a fully designed building. Is, uh, the file foundation is also designed. I will show you in this video. I'll give the link in the description. You can check this out if you haven't already. Okay. And uh, so, uh, firstly, uh, drop a like. It really helps me to reach. So, first of all, we'll go to your uh, report. And uh, we have this, you know, various options here. You can see. Uh, material listing, uh, solid model data, seismic design, all the detailed things are there. So let's go and uh, check the material listing because it gives a you know uh, idea or the estimate what the total cost of the structure. So material listing and just uh, click on uh, show report. Okay, uh, show report. So it will show you the report. You can save the report in the full version. You save the report PDF, Excel, and Word. So you can see the material listing is pretty simple. So beam column okay and uh, then uh, you have the uh, grade of concrete which has been used total length mass and the concrete has been calculated so like this in detail everything uh, if the total reinforcement in total uh, in uh, concrete has been calculated for the total building including slabs slabs and columns and ultimately we have the volume so the total volume of the concrete is 245 mq so it's 245 count and uh, the total mass of the enforcement in the entire building is uh, you can see 6.6 .6 ton or 6.58 you know, kg so you know, 65875 uh, kg so it is actually a 65 uh, you know ton so the total quantity of reinforcement and the total quantity of concrete will find and by you can get an approximate estimation of the cost of the building using that so this is really helpful the material you know, listing and then let's see the next thing the beam and forces so just uh, see this report on the beam and forces so it takes some time to generate the report so so here you see the reference span and then the end forces of each beam so you can also check the beam design manually by you know, if you want uh, using this particular report. So let's move on to the next uh, one, which is the building analysis and drip checks for report. And you'll see the drip checks courses here, dead life services, imposed seismic direction one, seismic torsion one, and analysis sway. You can see the drip checks which has been done and uh, you can see the twist of the particular building so you don't have to check manually you can, or you can generate the dip check report sometimes if you go for you know structural vetting the uh, you know structural vetting is being done with professors of different colleges so if they ask for this dip check so you can submit this report it will be very easy for you to do it and then obviously we have the uh, you know building design so building design it is the you know most it will contain the design of all of your uh, you know members so if you generate using Indian code, there will be some errors because I don't think the software has been optimized as per Indian codes yet, as per my experience. But uh, you know, if you design the US code or UK code, this pretty much you know gives a very uh, good report. You can see in this report all the you know these things are mentioned, sizes and all, and whether and if anyone is checking who doesn't know how to operate the software, uh, in the structured wedding process. Uh, he they can uh, you know just even check whether you've designed uh, everything and everything is uh, passing or not. So it's very useful, and you can see as in the report everything is mentioned in pretty much detail, and whether it is status is passing or status it failed or warning, everything will show. But again, uh, designed by the Indian book, so there will be some uh, errors, uh, sorry warnings which you can't remove in the from the report. So that is an issue. Okay. But from that, uh, the, the structure is uh, very good, and uh, in a detailed report, everything is mentioned. Uh, you know, regarding the member sizes, uh, you know, and also the reinforcement details. Then you have the building loading. So, in the building loading report, if you want to see, so the three D of the building appears, and you know, everything can save the full version in uh, you know this uh, PDF, Excel, Word, uh, and and also in Tecla text. So everything you can find in the full version. So you can save that. So you can see the loading which is applied. So if, you, if anyone wants to check uh, your model and check whether you have applied all the loads uh, which are applicable in that building or not, they can easily check here. 
they, if anyone check this building, they can check that I have not applied any weight loads here, but only applied seismic loads. And from the, uh, you know, this uh, thing, I can uh, easily get an idea of the load combinations also, which you can see wind data node is available because I have not applied any wind lens load. So suppose I am designing the building in a particular area where wind uh, load is required, but I have not provided. So they can easily check this report and find out. So why I'm mentioning structural wedding again and again, because in big projects, uh, your structural design will be checked by uh, big projects or even in any government process, structural design will be checked by another uh, professor or, you know, waiting agency, uh, you know, third party agency. Uh, so, so they will check these things, okay? So that's why it is very important. And then uh, another important thing is the embedded carbon. So nowadays you have uh, heard about, you know, this uh, increasing awareness in the environment, uh, you know, the, your the total number of carbon, uh, quantity of carbon which has been released by that particular building is very important to so the advent of design of green buildings. So you can also find out the total, you know, k kilogram uh, of CO2 which will be released by uh, due to this uh, construction of this particular building from this report. So this is also required, especially in some foreign projects, uh, you can easily uh, use this. So it's very useful in uh, those days. And uh, you have this foundation reaction. So if you want to design the foundation, uh, you know, manually also, you can use, uh, you do that using the foundation reactions here. So you have this moment forces in the, uh, in the in, you know, major forces, which will take this, this one, or the, the vertical one will take, which is the major forces, and you'll take the two moments, that is the moment along the X and the Y direction, that is along the ground, you'll take two moments and, and one force and design the uh, you know, your uh, foundations manually. And you can also check whether the results are okay or not. But uh, there is one problem in this, uh, you know, thing that while considering the foundation design size, uh, you consider factored load formation. But actually we need unfactored load formation for designing of foundation. So the data, may, you know, the results which you'll get may be, you know, a little bit uh, on the higher side. So that is the problem. So that but that has not been fixed yet. The only software I know which you can do automatically does it is the uh, RCDs. So and then uh, you have member design calculation. So this this is also important, uh, especially in reports. If you are preparing a report for uh, you know college assignment also, so this uh, is definitely required along with the member uh, you know design member design in which all the members are uh, things are given. So let's see. This is pretty much large uh, thing. Suppose we have this gig, uh, beam here. So the design code is mentioned, uh, IS-256 and 2005. Uh, it's not even the latest version yet, but it's okay. So here, now we have this beam and uh, you can see the detailed you know, combinations which have been used uh, and also the design summary. Everything has been mentioned here. You can zoom in and check out all the details here. So this member design calculation is also uh, important in some cases and then uh, you have this uh, seismic design. Okay, wind load are not applied, so it will not not uh, be done. So seismic design, I can see what is the seismic design report. So structure, height, highest levels, zones, uh, zones considered seismic zone five as per IS 18 A1893. Site class, important factors. So everything. If you anyone wants to check the seismic, uh, you know, uh, loading, you can give this report and you can see whether they have. Uh, you know, I've applied all the loadings properly or not. So this can be uh, very, very useful uh, for the uh, report. And the solver model data, let um, me show you. The solver model data is basically the nodal data for, you know, instead of like we give nodes, it is, it is the, find all the nodes between the connections. So you have the, all the nodes and uh, whether which, are, which uh, end or three, which end are fixed, which are the primary beams, which are the secondary beams, you can find out all that uh, using the solver data. Basically, that these are the coordinates and uh, the fixed support conditions uh, you'll find uh, using this and also the uh, you know, nodes of all the members you'll find here. So in StatPro, this is very uh, you know, prominent, but here, if you just click on the solver model data or also an option here in the view. So in this, you can find out the uh, nodal uh, forces. So that's all. There are a lot of other things uh, which I'll show, but they, in basic, these are the uh, reports. So the report system in Tecla Structural Designer is uh, pretty, uh, you know, just uh, detailed and uh, good. 
as you can see, and it's very useful. So uh, for more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and which video you want to see next, just comment below. I'll make sure uh, and I'll try to reply to you. Okay, keep learning. Bye-bye.